disciplinary stuff and want to do collaborative stuff. So groups that, based on our research of other multi-tenant arts buildings across Canada, when a group is like 10, 20 years from now, person goes to work, 10 in the morning, they open, unlock their office, they go in there, 5 o'clock, they close their office and lock it. And that's it. And that's what often happens in multi-tenant buildings. So we didn't want that. I don't want to spend any of my energy and I don't want my crew to spend their energy building a building that simply happens houses and groups. It's about what the hell we do together and what happens as a result of coming together. So when Sid's TV crews want to do stuff, they can hang out in the cafe and they can inspire, and they can hook up with some, some teenagers who are in our youth media center that want to learn how to do TV. Okay. And, so, and it might be that they first workshop their TV program on a, on a radio program for six months until they build up the capacity and then they start broadcasting the TV. Or maybe they do the TV in our smaller studio and they just use it as a web show before they actually do television. So that's why coming together and sharing strategies and resources and skills, that's that's why we're different. And we don't want to be you know, one one space over here and, and some other program upstairs and they don't talk to each other. We, W2, my responsibility, other staff's responsibility is to make sure that this becomes a really powerful, cohesive group that I would I call it like some plus. It's not just like the sum of what we do, all the pluses that come as a result of coming together. Where's the production office going to be? What? The production office, where is it? <laughs> Second floor. Second floor. So this is, we're trying to protect the square footage here too, so we're, we haven't figured this out with our architect, but we're trying to figure out, can we actually do a, a second level, because it's six foot, I, I think that top of the cement thing is at six foot 11 or something like that, so yeah. it, it technically oh, oh, oh. it might be that we can actually legally build a, uh, almost like a catwalk like a cat above yeah. and do a control That's booth a idea. above the floor so we can actually protect our square footage capacity. So things like that we're trying to design. And uh, on that theme, the architect Gregory Rike of the whole project, he describes this as the only Tokyo in Vancouver. Like, this is the highest density. You know, we're talking about 5,000 5, people will come through in front of our cafe every day. So just an incredible, phenomenal concentration of people. It's totally unprecedented in Vancouver in terms of the architecture and design. To go to, to go to the art schools, to go to the shopping stores, if you live in the towers, you, you got to walk through this you know, space in the atrium. So Let's go upstairs? Yeah. Remember, I can't look fat for a photo. That's normal. That's why cameras always makes me look slim and sexy. So it's like a little lemon pound, so for you and Sid. The Chinese baby. He says, it's like, oh. So, it's a web. I can't wait. I can't wait. Can we do a, can we do a group photo somehow? Maybe in the bottom. Are we allowed to go up the stairs yet? Or? No, they're no. just uh, yeah. doing that, uh, so we yeah. can't go up the Is stairs. Is there something that's got a Woodward sign on it or something we can line ourselves on? No, but let's do it in the cafe or something. Can we? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we want to take a shot. Sure. Oh, yeah. Nice little flag. <laughs> Let's, let's do a quick photo of people. Uh, we like, right here, we're at the We're at some door. Yeah, we're at our desk. It's like between Peter and Dustin, everyone can stand right there. I don't know if I can, I'll look for a big dog. I don't know. If we can do this We got W's on our hats. Come on in here, Mark. 
I think some people can stand on this. Yes, I'm afraid. <laughs> Lanny or Mark, one of you take the photo and one of you come in the photo. Lanny should be in here. Yes, you should be part of this. I'll um, switch out. What, uh, I want to get a picture with you and sit with some hair tone. So I'll get to it. Okay. <laughs> Lanny, give the camera to Andrew. We should get Sean in here. You want me in there? Yeah, we can get Sean in here. Sure. Line it up. Okay. If you can't see the camera, I can't see you. There's lots of space over between the centers of this. This one's fine. It's fine. A new one. Yeah, you gotta get my good side though, eh? That's good. You gotta make it. There's some propane there by gate three. Okay, thanks, buddy. Hey, Louie, you're working too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. All right. Can you lower the camera just a little? So you see your face. Okay, and one, two, three, ice cream. Ice cream. Gelato! <laughs> one more time. Just a little wider. Big wide lens. Okay. <laughs> just don't drop the cameras there. Uh, I just want everybody to know that Sean is not wearing black either. Okay. <laughs> Rebels. One, two, three, Peter Davies for President. <laughs> <laughs> is this on auto? Yeah, you can you can swap you can switch it out. You can switch it out. Do you want me to do it for you? That's an auto. That's an auto. Yeah. Man, that was play for the lions. Yeah. April. Hi, Jersey. Uh, <laughs> a heritage tour, Jersey heritage. <laughs> okay. Looking okay. this way, you camera people. <laughs> there you go. One, two, three. April, looking up, please. Thank you. One more. Okay, so uh, Mark for this couple? Yeah, I need to uh, April. Yeah. <laughs> April. Yeah. Maybe we can move the wheelbarrow away. Yeah, we should be okay. Where do you want to be? Uh, actually, right, probably right in. How about right here? Right here, yeah. This, yes, yes, yes. Okay, you can take a photo. Just take it with your camera. Okay. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> What's better? Black, black or 